Welcome to a week in my life vlog. Kitties are doing good. Mimi has gotten a lot bigger. Nisha! Look at the mess that I left. I just had lunch. I am currently working on making an incense holder. Sorry for all the construction and noises in the background. I don't know why I thought it would get quieter. Who knows, maybe it'll get a little bit quieter in a bit. I've been having a lot of fun playing with clay in my little space. Most of the times I just put on like a little background show or a podcast or music or I call my mom. The other day I finished Never Have I Ever and it was pretty good, the last season. This is everything that I made in the past week and a half. I just made these today. Incense holder, incense holder, and another incense holder. And these scraps are just for glaze testing. Every time I turn on this camera, it's all noise, but then when I don't have the camera on, there's no noise. I've been waking up at 6 in the morning every day, so every time it reaches between 2 to 4.30, I feel like I feel like taking a nap, but I know I can't take a nap because if I take a nap, I'm gonna fall asleep for 4 hours and then I'm gonna ruin my whole schedule that I've created for myself. Since I'm feeling really low energy right now, Hopefully the sun, the vitamin D, is gonna get me a bit more awake. I'm debating if I should go home or if I should stay here till 7 like I told myself I would. I did pack dinner after all. Good morning, it is 5.58 in the morning right now and I am up. I feel so much better when I wake up early in the morning and we can watch the sunrise together. I'm gonna do a quick yoga stretch so that my body can feel like itself. This is the outfit for today. I am very warm. Okay, so I bought a ton of fruit from the fruit vendor. Mandarin! Some persimmons and some apples. I want to do some still life paintings with my ceramics and fruit. I thought that was a good idea. We're gonna try it out. I have a tattoo appointment today, so before that, I'm gonna do some sketches and then we'll see if we actually get to the painting this week. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think that this is much better. There's so much more space. Okay, I think that is enough for today. The days are getting darker, so there's not a lot of natural light in here anymore. And I have to get the bulbs of these lights changed, which means I'm gonna clean up, clean up my brushes. I've used this for so many years and it's finally broken. <laughs> This makes a huge difference. I got a little bit bored, so I painted this cup. This shirt has become my painting shirt. The cuffs are already dirty, and I don't even know how I did this. It is time to eat. I am super hungry. So excited for my food. And my broccoli. And I made curry for the week. I haven't hung out with the kitties all week. Let's have a little chit chat before I go sleep, catch up a bit. It's been really nice to have my own art studio to work in. I'm really grateful for that. And in the last video where I showed you guys what it looked like, I said that I was sharing the space with my friend Joy. However, we decided that it would be best not to share the space because I underestimated how much space I needed for ceramics and painting and everything else and I felt that it would be really unfair for her to only have like a tiny corner to paint while the rest of the studio space was mine I still need to help her move out her stuff and then after we do that I'm going to move in my easel and then maybe purchase some larger canvases to work on. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where this is going. I'm just going with the flow and I hope everything works out in the end and something good comes out of it. I'm also trying to not work too hard. I want to work hard but not grind to the point of burning out. Based on experience, I know if I go a little too ham, it's gonna happen and I'm trying to avoid that. I've learned that I work best with a routine. It really helps when I'm able to plan out my schedule. I plan out my weekly schedule. This is this week's. It's just really helpful to not have everything up in my mind and have everything down on paper. I tend to get seasonal depression, 
So waking up early helps me see the sun earlier and for a longer time. Other routines that I've been trying to do is that when I'm at the tattoo studio or my personal studio, that's where I do work. And once I come home, it's time to wind down. As for tattooing, I have appointments all the way till the first half of December. After that, I think I'm gonna take the rest of December off. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be traveling in January or not, but I'm aiming to open my bookings for 2024 sometime by then. On another note, I recently got back into ice skating. I used to skate when I was younger and I gave up and I tried again and I gave up again. Cause life got ahead of me in college. I want to get back into it. I didn't have time. Tattooing took over my life for a long time. Now I feel a bit more stable, so I am getting back into it. I have a private lesson once a week. And the really nice thing is that I have a rink super close to me, which I've never had before. I've been going around like four times a week. I feel super happy to be ice skating again. It makes me feel very fulfilled. It is an amazing workout. Oh, and before I turn off the camera, I want to share with you guys the book that I was reading. I just finished it. It's called The Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrian Young. When I was reading this book, my head was hurting. There were so many twists and turns and it was just like I really enjoyed the book I think I'm gonna read her other book next and it's called Spells for Forgetting I will let you guys know how that book is that is what I've just been up to it is my bedtime now and I am ready to sleep I'm gonna smooth her over another day. We're waiting for my boyfriend to wake up.
Come here. Hello. Give me a kiss. I was having the most difficult time trimming my bangs. It was such a struggle. I think I'm just gonna grow it out. I also have a hime cut. It was really cute in the beginning. When I put my hair up, the hime cut, this block of hair, it just falls out. And I look like I'm gonna plan next week's schedule. I've been using my red moleskin that I found under a mountain of planners and notebooks that I never really touch. I just keep everything in one notebook to make my life a little easier. Next week is gonna be a little bit busy, a little chaotic because I have two appointments and then my studio, we're doing a flash day event on Saturday. I'm really excited for it, but I know I'm gonna be really busy. So Sunday is gonna be all rest, chill at home. Time to go get lunch. <laughs>